We'll do them in the order they appear on the board, which means number two first, which is actually quite sensible because in some ways it's the one you can do the quickest. Its answer certainly is the easiest. 9s squared take away 16. Before you tell me whether that's right or wrong, it's just been written down directly. How's that? What knowledge can you use to just go straight there and not like do all of the inside, outside, whatever? Yeah, Isabella. Okay, you can see 9s squared, right, is the square of? 9s. 3s, right? And 16 is the square of? 4. 4, right? So you've got your pieces here, right? Now what do you expect when something is factorized the difference of squares? What's the actual result that you um, have learned? What and what? Go in here. I'll give you a clue. It starts with an A. A minus B, usually. And then... And do you remember what that's called, that pair of things together, when one's a minus and one's a plus? It's a... It's a conjugate. Thank you very much. So, is 90 squared take 16? Shh, you tend to stay with me. Is 90 squared take away 16 lining up with what you expected? Yes. Big thumbs up. Good job. Okay. Let's have a look at the top one. 6 minus 7x minus 3x squared. Before we scrutinize it, who got the same answer? Hands up straight. The t first one? The first one? Okay, good number. Thank you. Hands down. Are there any shortcuts for this first one? Are there any shortcuts for it? As it turns out, later on you will learn there are some shortcuts, but for now, the quickest way really is just go one across to those, do the second one, and after you do all of those, just look at the number of arrows. How many terms will you expect at the end after that expansion? Four, right? One for each arrow. But there's only three here. Why is that? What's she done? What's she done? What's the name of this? She's collected like terms. Thank you. Okay. All right, last one. Now, just having a look at it, uh, we can simplify this a teeny bit. There's only one thing that can be simplified here. What can you do? Yeah, what is 70 over 5? 14 over 1. So this is 14 on y. You go that? Yeah, so why would five? Is it if your time is times in five? Yeah, I'll, hold on, hold on. I'll get to this in a second. Just have a look at this last line here. And I know we were stretching it, but how many people got that answer? Are you with? Yeah, a few. Yeah, not heaps confident though. Okay. So let's go through this one at a time. This line here, this one just above the one that I've written that Isabella's got, we actually can go straight there. We can go straight there. Right? Yeah. How do we go straight there? Um, you do perfect. a squared plus 2ab plus Yeah, this, this is a perfect square, isn't it? Okay. So we're going to try and dissect, did we get the perfect square right? Just like before, this is like the result of formula in your head that you've seen many times. So I'll use this space up here. A plus B all squared. Remember, we drew a diagram that showed it's not just A squared plus B squared. What am I missing in the middle? Two. It's the two. Where do they come from, by the way, on the diagram? Do you remember? Where do they come from? There's that rectangle and another rectangle. There's an AB and an AB. So that's what we're expecting when we expand. Okay, good. Now let's just see, did we get it right here? 25, what do you think? Yeah. 49 on Y squared, what do you think? Yeah? Yeah. yeah? And usually, those are the bits that are easiest to get right. It's this bit in the middle that's tricky. 2AB. 2AB. Here's A and here's B. Right? So I'm going to first multiply them together. 5 times 7 over Y. 5 times 7 over Y. What's 5 times 7? 35. 35 over Y. And then you double it, right? 35 over y, and then you double it. Did I do it right? Is that 2ab? It is, right? So that should be 70 over y. Y. It's 5 y. 2 y. It's just 5 y. 5 y. It's 5 y. What do you reckon, Nathan? What do you think? When you multiply these two terms, you turn it into a fraction. So you go like 5 over 1. So you can say, this is 5 over 1, right? 
which helps you recognize if it is 5 over 1, then we've done multiplication before. Right? I know there's addition here, but to do 2AB, you multiply the 5 and the 7, the Y and the 1. This is, this is 2AB. It checks out. Now, here's the thing. It's easy to get confused. Even just when you look at this thing, like people look at this and like, oh, is that right? I don't know. It looks pretty close, right? It is close. This is the bit that always presents people with trouble. Okay? So write the lines of working. It's pretty close. All I have to do is just fix that up. All good, right? What do you think? Are you happy with it now? 